Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to keep oil in your lamp. This is really, really important because as the Lord's uh, day approaches, as the coming of Jesus Christ it gets nearer and nearer, it's imperative. Jesus commanded us to watch and then warned us about what might happen if that didn't. And in Matthew 25, the story about the wise and foolish virgins, many people you will know that, but it says this here. From verse 1, I'll just read, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, not virgins, virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. Those, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give of us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go you rather and to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say to you, I do not know you, for I know you not, the King James Bible says. While I was reading that this morning, that the thing that came to me was, now often I think people might think that this, that the wise and the foolish were both, both Christians, and that may well be so. But the other way I looked at this was there are people that are filled with the Holy Ghost and there are people that aren't. There are people that are, he may have been talking to the Jews, you know, who are under the law and then referring to the new covenant whereby we are washed in the blood of Jesus and baptized in the Holy Spirit. But you you know, you're, in Romans 8 it says, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So that, to me, tells me that the ones without the oil didn't have the Holy Spirit. And maybe they never had the Holy Spirit. But the others did. And we need to make sure that we are baptized in the Holy Spirit. I mean, we need the Holy Spirit's power to live and to... And to serve the Lord and do his works on the earth but if we don't need the Holy Spirit in our lives for anything else we need the Holy Spirit so that when Jesus comes he recognizes us <laughs> because he will recognize God in us so that's my encouragement for you today if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. So keep oil in your lamps. God bless you. Have a great day.